All right, we're back after a little hiatus for a sound meditation. My name is Jackie, for those of you who are just coming in. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to be back. I missed y'all. I see some old familiar faces coming in the house. Hello, everyone who's welcoming. You're joining us for a Tuesday sound bowl meditation. We're gonna be listening to the sounds of seven of my crystal singing bowls. I'm gonna talk about them a little bit in a second. My name is Jackie Cantwell and I'm a sound practitioner. I'm based out of Bushwick, Brooklyn. We've been doing this now for almost a year. It started during quarantine and it's just built this really incredible, vibrant community of people from all around the world. In fact, right now there's hundreds of us tuned in from literally all around the world, new friends and old. So if you know me, I'm so happy to have you back. And if I don't know you, I'm so happy you're here. I'll tell you what the rundown of today is going to look like. We'll talk a little bit. Um, we do something every week that I'm really excited to share with you. And then we're going to do some really gentle guided breath work. If you've never done breathing practices or breath work before, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. And then we're going to experience a sound meditation. And a sound meditation is different from a sound bath because we're actually using the sound as a tool, just like we would a mantra or our breath or any other point of focus to bring us back to the present moment during the meditation. So don't worry about that if you've never experienced any of those things before either. You're in safe hands, I'm gonna take good care of you. But before we get started, for those of you who are a part of this community already, um, I'm really looking to you guys to be leaders in engaging in this next exercise, but you guys know I really love to take a second at the beginning of all of our meditations to shout ourselves out for something. Big or small, it can be as big as getting that new job, or breaking through some old uh, habitual thought pattern, or it could be as small as having taken a walk today or having eaten a healthy breakfast. Whatever the thing is that you wanna celebrate about yourself, we take time every week to do that. So you can go ahead and start shouting yourself out for things in the comments, and I always try to read out as many as I can. And um, I would like to share that <clears throat> this week, I was really um, having a hard time with my creativity. I make videos online and I write a lot and I felt like I was hitting a wall, like I was getting into a comfort zone of making things that just kind of were, were second nature, but I really wanted to push myself to do work that was really honest and true. So I took a new direction with some things. It's really scary and out of my comfort zone, but I want to celebrate that because that's how I grow. So that's my celebration this week. It looks like we have some really good stuff coming in. We have healing. I took lunch time to work in the glorious sunshine today. Carrie says, I gave up Diet Coke 94 days ago. Get it. Jay George says, hey, from Calgary, been on a walk and did a couple grounding practices. Heart Space, Rachel's in the house and she says, hello. Marion says, I've started exercising more. Le Doucet says, took a walk. Kaliga worked on a high anxiety moment. Thank you for sharing that real talk stuff. Um, I appreciate all these shares so far. Sweet as Kenny says, I changed a pattern this morning and went on a walk in the woods to start my day off right. That's beautiful. Jen Loves Life says, staying sane while selling my house, getting a new apartment and working at the same time. Pauline says, recovery of a car accident. Love meditations. We're so happy you're here to heal. Yogi Wendy says, went to yoga after a year. Lovely Mai says, taking my time. That's so beautiful and poetic. Alicia says, self-love. We have meditation regularly. We have getting back into inspiration. Oh man, these are so beautiful. Um, thank you so much for being so real and maybe going out of your comfort zone and sharing like with a bunch of strangers online, but this is how we build community in a real and meaningful way. So I thank you guys for showing up to do that. But time is of the essence here. I always try to be really respectful of time and get you out of here in 30 minutes. So we're gonna get started. And the way that we're gonna get started is first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about these instruments in case you don't know about them. 
I'm going to be playing seven crystal singing bowls. These are made from 99.9% .9 quartz crystal, and they have an incredible ability to help relax and recalibrate the nervous system. And it's not just woo woo, it's actually science. If you ever ran your finger around the outside of a crystal glass full of water, what happens is the water inside the glass, along with hopefully you getting a sound out of it, the water inside the glass will start to move and dance in a harmonious pattern. And because humans were made from 65 to 75% water, we react really similarly to the sounds of the bowls as they penetrate into our system. And what happens is, you can imagine that those internal waters might feel chaotic and hectic when we're experiencing depression or anxiety or stress. What happens when we hear the sounds of the bulls is that our cells are being in trains or links up with the sound, which is harmonious. So we go from being chaotic into being entrained into this more harmonious state. And to experience that, you don't need any special skills or experience. All you have to do is listen. So let's get into it. We're gonna do a little bit of breathing and then we'll go right into the sound. So wherever you are, you can find a seat that I like to call upright but not uptight. Um, you can sit wherever feels good to you. If you need a little extra rest today, you can lie down. You can sit in a chair, you can sit at a table, you can sit in the couch. I'm directly on the floor, it doesn't have to be anything super special. And once you find that seat, let's just get into it and you can go ahead and close your eyes. And when you find your eyes closed, not um, trying to do anything extraordinary other than just sit and be. Letting your body begin to relax in the ways that it naturally knows how to. And taking a moment to notice the sounds of the space that you're in or any of the sounds that are coming in through my screen before we even get into the sound meditation. And together, hundreds of us in community from around the world will start by taking a few collective breaths. And we'll begin by exhaling all the air in our lungs with an SH on the count of three. One, two, three. Shh. All the way until you have nothing left. Big inhale into the belly, up into the chest, holding at the top, and letting it go. Again, big inhale into the belly, up into the chest.
filling your tank.
the sounds of the bowls start to fade away, simply noticing again the sounds of the space that you're in. Noticing how your body feels in this moment. Taking a moment to sit in gratitude for the chance to sit with so many people from around the world, to connect with ourselves, knowing that the more we do this, the more that we can show up bigger for the people that we love, for the things that we care about out in the world. And we'll take one final breath together, exhaling all the air in our lungs with an SH on the count of three. One, two, three. Slow, gentle inhale into the belly, up into the chest, holding at the top and holding your body full of that gratitude and that new fresh energy and exhaling HA. You can bring some gentle movement into your body either by rotating your hips a little bit or swaying from side to side. And in your own time, with no rush at all, you can bring yourself back to the screen. Thank you guys so much for sitting with me today. Again, sometimes the vibes are too high and it cuts out, so that's just all of us adding and um, like adding our energy into it. That's what I like to believe. Um, if you enjoyed this meditation, you can join us every week. Tuesday is the same time unless we say otherwise. Also, there's a Chopra app if you're not familiar with it. It has over 500 plus guided meditations along with four tracks that I created for different types times of the day. So I have bowls and shruti box and chimes and all these other instruments I use. And if you're curious about sound bowls, want to own your own, or want to learn more on how to play them, you can find me at It's Jackie Cantwell. It's on the bottom of the screen. And I'd be happy to answer any of your questions and just get to know you a little bit more. Thank you so much for like joining and really being a part of this conversation and going out of your comfort zone, maybe trying something new. We love you so much and we're so happy that you guys tune in every week. If anybody wants to reach out, go for it, and we'll send you see you soon. It's Again, it's at It's Jackie Cantwell, and you'll see it in the comments. We're going to throw this on the grid later. Sending you guys so much love.